Hi friends, our today's topic is boats and stream and this is the 8th video on boats and stream and here we are going to learn some of the very important question which frequently appears in our exam. So let's understand the question and try to solve it here. A man can row 14 km per hour in still water. So what they have given? They have given a speed of boat, right? A speed of boat is equals to 14 km per hour. So man speed or the boat speed both are same. So either speed of man or speed of boat in still water is nothing but 14 km per hour and this u, this v denote by u, right? And if the river is running at 4 km per hour, so what is the speed of the river? The speed of the river is 4 km per hour which is nothing but v denoted by v. So we got a speed of boat and we got a speed of a river and this river we also called as a speed of a stream. Now what they are telling is it takes 4 hours more in upstream than to go downstream. So if you remember upstream means boat is moving against the river that means their direction is different. If boat is moving in this direction then a stream will move in opposite direction right. In case of downstream boats and a stream will be in the same direction. So if boat is moving in this direction a stream will also move in the same direction right okay. And what question says it takes 4 hours more in upstream. So in upstream definitely the time will be more than downstream. The reason is because boat is moving in opposite direction to a stream right. So I can write down here time in upstream is t plus 4 and time in downstream is equals to t ok. And what they are telling distance is same. So the distance is same suppose this is A and this is B. So distance is same one way it will be upstream and other way it will be downstream right ok. So I can say upstream distance will be equal to downstream distance right and what is distance? Distance is equal to a speed into time. So we know the time and a speed also both of a speed and a speed of river is given. So I can easily calculate downstream speed. So downstream speed is nothing but a will be a speed of boat plus a speed of a stream u plus b 14 plus 4 is 18 kilometer per hour. Now upstream speed will be what? is b and it will be u minus v. So 14 minus 4 which is nothing but 10 kilometer per hour. So speed is also given. Now we will use a formula. So distance of upstream, distance in upstream is equal to a speed into time. So what is upstream speed? Is equal to 10 kilometer per hour and what is the time? Time is nothing but t plus 4. What about downstream? 18 kilometer per hour and what is time? time is nothing but t. So this is 10 t plus 40 is equals to 18 of t. t will go that side so 8 of t is equals to 40. So time will be what? 5 hours. So what we got from here is we got time. Now they are asking how far is the place? Means they are asking the distance. So distance will be a speed into time. What is a speed? So downstream speed you see. 18 into 5 which is nothing but 90 kilometer right. So this will be distance in up downstream see actually distance is same so in upstream also when you will calculate the distance will be same only. Upstream distance is equal to a speed into time so what is upstream speed is 10 and what is upstream time t plus 4 t is already 5 so 5 plus 4 is 9 so it will be 90 kilometer distance. So distance will be what? 90 kilometers. So answer for this question will be 90 kilometers. Question number 2. A boat has to travel upstream 20 kilometer distance from point X of a river to point Y. So basically what they are telling a boat is moving from point X to point Y and the distance is given 20 kilometer, right? Okay. Now the total time taken by boat in traveling from point X to Y and Y to X is given that is nothing but 41 minute 40 seconds. So they are asking the speed of the boat right and only the distance is given. So we have to calculate upstream speed and downstream speed right because one side boat will be along with the stream and one side the boat will be against the stream right. 
so up stream and down stream speed we have to calculate so for calculating up stream and down stream speed we need the speed of boat and the speed of stream so let's assume the speed of boat is let's assume the speed of boat is u and the speed of stream is what v correct so in that case what will become our up stream speed so up stream speed we denote it by b and it will be u minus v boat speed minus stream speed what will be downstream speed so downstream speed we denote it by a and it will be a speed of boat plus a speed of stream so this is the information we got it after assuming a speed of boat and a stream of speed now let's put the same thing in the equation 1 suppose this is equation 1 whatever we have got now what is time see distance is equal to a speed into time so time will be what distance by speed now what is upstream speed see distance is same either it is upstream or it is downstream the distance is same so distance by speed right so distance by suppose this is upstream so distance by upstream speed and then distance by downstream speed is equals to 41 minute 40 second so distance is what 20 km and what is upstream speed u minus v again 20 what is downstream speed u plus v and this if you convert into hour then it will become 41 minute 40 second right so 41 minute if 40 if you convert into minute then 40 by 60 so this will become 2500 by 60 minute this if you convert into hour then 2500 divided by 60 into 60 and this will give you hours so 20 will take 20 off so 25 by 36 hour right so this will become 25 by 36 this is equation 1 now we have only one equation and how many unknowns are there we have two unknowns are there so from one equation it is impossible to find the value of two unknowns so that means for this question our answer will be cannot be determined the speed of boat cannot be determined right because one equation and two unknowns if we have two unknowns then you should have two equation to solve it otherwise we cannot solve it right thanks for watching the video